Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your presentations, make sure that you have the presentation properly set up using the Page Setup dialog box. Once this is accomplished, you will want to check the way that your presentation will print without having to waste paper by actually printing several copies until it is correct. PowerPoint provides another view of your presentation called Print Preview to assist you in this. In Print Preview you can see how your presentation will actually print on paper according to the specifications that you've set within the Page Setup dialog box. To view your currently opened presentation in Print Preview, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Print command. In the section to the right in the Backstage view, you will see various printing options that you've already set within the Page Setup dialog box. To the right of that, you will then see the Print Preview of your selected presentation slide. Note that there are two buttons that appear in the far lower right corner of the Backstage view at this point. You can click and drag the slider icon shown in the Zoom slider to increase or decrease the magnification of the Print Preview slide display. You can also click the Zoom to Page button to display one full slide. Also note that if you are printing multiple slides, you can click the small left and right arrows that appear at the bottom of the Print Preview in order to scroll through the slides that you will print. You can also click directly into the number box and type the slide number of the slide that you would like to display in the Print Preview and then press the Enter key on your keyboard in order to show it on screen. After you've previewed your presentation, you can then set any additional printing settings in the same area within the Backstage view. This is one of the new enhancements that's been made within PowerPoint 2010. In the Print section, enter the number of copies that you would like to print into the copy spinner box, or simply click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the Printer section, Use the drop-down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the presentation. In the Settings section, use the first drop-down to select what you want to print within your presentation. You can choose to print all slides, print a selection, print only the current slide, or print a custom range. Note that you can enter the number of slides to print into the Slides text box if you select the custom range choice. Slide ranges can be sequential, 1 through 10, or non-sequential, 1, 5, 10, or even a combination, such as 1 through 5, 10. Separate sequential slide ranges with the hyphen and non-sequential slide ranges with the comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon at the right of the text box, you can see examples of how you can enter custom slide range references. You can use the next drop-down to choose either collated to have a collated printout, or you can select uncollated to have an uncollated printout. You can also choose your print layout, full page, notes page, or outline. For handouts, you can choose the type of handouts that you want to print. The last drop-down allows you to select whether you want to print color, grayscale, or pure black and white slides. Simply make your choice from this drop-down. When you're done choosing your printing options, just click the large print button at the top of the print section to begin printing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.